For today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. I actually wore this look to a wedding, uh, oh, it's not like two weeks ago, but I posted this picture on Instagram and a lot of you guys wanted to see a look like this and I feel like it's kind of similar to like what I've done just like in the past couple of months, except it is all completely matte. There's no shimmer eyeshadows at all. So it's just like super smoky, super dark. I actually amped it up a little bit more in this video than I did in that picture that I wore to the wedding. And I changed the lip color a little bit too. I feel like this is a little bit more fall appropriate. I know it's August, but I'm actually, I think I'm gonna post this in September. This video might go up in September, but I know it's not technically fall yet, but I don't even care. I'm excited. I hope that you guys like this look as much as I do. If you do, thumbs it up and subscribe if you aren't already. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. All right, so to start off this look, I'm taking Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek and I'm putting this into the crease. I'm using an E40 brush from Sigma and I'm just very, very sloppily putting this all over that eye area because it's the perfect transition shade for all of the other eyeshadows. Then I'm taking Caramel or caramel however you pronounce it and on an e35 brush with oh sneeze <laughs> which is a little bit more of a precise brush i'm just going to very sloppily put this all over that crease and lid area i'm focusing it mainly in the crease and then just lightly washing it over that lid doesn't really matter and then just blend it out with your e40 now i'm taking chickadee on the e40 brush again and just putting this into the crease this really gives like an orangey hue to the eye and i really really love it next i'm taking one of my favorite eyeshadows from mac this is called embark and on an e55 brush from sigma i'm just putting this all over the eyelid it just really smokes it out and make it look a lot deeper all right so now on this e25 brush i'm buffing out that crease very precisely and i'm pausing this here because as you can see there i have brown on the lid so i'm going to rewind that really quick and show you that when you get brown on that brush there don't keep blending because that's gonna make it too smoky on the top it's gonna look like you actually got punched in the eye and you don't want that so as you can see here I'm keeping it very low and precise and I'm not moving that brown up too high I just thought it was really important to show that because sometimes it can seem like it gets really messy and that's one of the ways you can prevent that Next, I'm going in with the Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And with an E25 brush, I'm applying a ton of this to my brow bone. Then just go back in and blend it out so that it's super, super seamless. For my eyeliner, I'm taking this number 77 black gel liner from Inglot. I'm using an E10 brush from Sigma. All of these brushes and products will be linked down below. Now I'm taking Corrupt on another Sigma brush. I forgot the name of this brush, but again, it will be down below. I'm just going to buff out that liner so that it looks really smoked out and then go back in with Embark, smoke it out even more, blend it out with a fluffy brush. It really doesn't matter. All of this is super, super easy, blended, smoky all that jazz. Now I'm just really, really lightly touching up the liner to make it even more black right at the lash line. I'm applying some L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Any mascara will work. And then I'm going to apply false lashes. These are the Esquito Viola Lash. I do have a 10% off code down below if you are interested. But somebody just told me they're actually spelled V-O-I-L-A instead of V-I-O-L-A. So I don't know if they're actually pronounced Viola, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it because I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it the other way. Voila? I don't know. So moving on to the face, I'm taking the Smashbox primer water and I'm spraying it all over my face just to prime the skin. And then I'm going to go in with this foundation here. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Shell Beige. I'm applying this with a beauty blender sponge, but as you can see, I feel like this has been breaking me out a little bit. As you can see, I had like some pimples and stuff. So I don't know how I feel about this yet. I'm going to keep trying it out and then probably stop trying it to see if it's done breaking me out. But this color was a little bit too pink for me, but the next shade was too yellow. So I don't know. I really do love the finish. It's like a demi matte finish and it gives a very full coverage and I love it applied with the Beauty Blender sponge. Next, I'm going in with this concealer from Urban Decay, and I'm in the color Light Warm. And I not only concealed underneath my eye area, but I also distributed it. 
distributed it all over my face. So the center of the forehead, down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, all of that jazz. And then blended it in with a beauty blender sponge again. I love when I don't have to switch my brushes for blending out my concealer and for my foundation. So that's one of the reasons why I love the beauty blender sponge. Um, yeah. Next, I'm going in with this cream bronzer from Chanel, and I'm using this round top kabuki brush from Sigma. I usually use the angled one, but for the last like month that I've been like really using this a lot, the round one just seems to apply so much better for me. So I really love that for that. And then I'm setting the under eye area with the Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder from MAC underneath my eye area and all of the other places that we highlighted with our concealer. Oh, and I just had to take a moment just to show you the shot of these lashes from this angle, super fierce. Okay, so for my contour area, I'm just contouring with the Anastasia Contour Kit. I mixed all three of the shades together, and then I'm using this, like, I guess it's technically a blush brush from Makeup Geek, but I use it for contouring because I don't like such small brushes like this for applying blush. And then I always use my fingers to contour my nose. I do have a full in-depth contour and highlight video. I will post it down below in the info box. For my blush, I'm using Infatuation from Makeup Geek and I'm applying it with this blush brush from Sigma. And this is my first time trying it and as you can see, I really like the color. It's like a, a neutral orange. I don't even know, it's great. Um, and then I'm applying this bronzer from Makeup Forever in the color 35i. I should have done this before my blush, but who cares? For my highlight, I'm taking that Becca Champagne Pop highlighter again and I'm putting it on my cheekbones. I'm using this brush from Real Techniques because it is my favorite brush for highlighting. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just taking Embark right at that lash line. This is like my favorite thing to do. I feel like I'm going through a phase of doing this. And then with this FX7 brush from Sigma, it's like a dome shaped brush, take Caramel or Chickadee or whatever and just buff that out. In my waterline, I'm taking Costa Rich from MAC and I'm applying a bunch. And then I am mascara-ing the bottom lashes just to balance out the top ones and it just brings it all together, at least for me. So for my lips, I'm taking this lip crayon from NARS and it's in the color Bettina and it's a really, really pretty like mauve nude color. I feel like this color is just perfect for fall. I used to use it all the time, but I haven't in a while and I love it. Then I'm using this little baby sample from Jouer in the color nude glisten it's a really pretty nude orange color and it's gorgeous to set my face i'm using the primer water from smashbox again but i had to check to make sure that it was used for that as well but it is so i am setting my face letting it dry and the look is now complete everything for this look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any requests especially for halloween let me know down below in the comment section and don't forget to check out the information box i put every single brush every single product everything that you need to know is in that info box so make sure to check that out let me know what you guys want to see next and i will see you guys next time bye